Today is Help a Widow Day. It may sound a bit specific, but if you think about it, it's an important idea. The woman who spearheaded this special day is Robin Craig, the founder of a group called the Widows Club. Good morning to you, Robin. Good morning. What a great idea. And this is spreading all over the world, not just our community. It's been amazing. I've got people reaching me from countries like Great Britain, Canada, Kenya. It's, I don't even know some of the countries. And I'm so honored that they're finding me on the Internet and just reaching out for help. It's so amazing how we have become so connected through the Internet and that people can reach out to you for help. How did you come out with the idea? Why do you think it's so important for us to have Help a Widow Day? After I became widowed, I became aware that people are uncomfortable mentioning widowhood. Mm -hmm. So after about the first two weeks, people just don't say or do anything. So I wanted to create a day to acknowledge the plight of widows while helping the widows to feel special and cared for. And I also wanted to encourage people to do acts of kindness toward the widows. What are some of those acts of kindness that are needed? What does a widow need that maybe we never think about? Almost any authentic act of kindness is truly appreciated. It can encompass anything from washing her car to babysitting her children to give her a break to performing a minor home repair to taking lunch to taking her to lunch. Even a card or an email, a smile and a hug mm -hmm. even go a long way. You might just say, it's Help a Widow Day. I wanted to acknowledge you, and if there's anything that I can do for mm -hmm. you, I would love to. And it's really great when you can see something specific and just do it. Mm -hmm. You might say, I see that your mailbox needs to be painted, and I would love to do that for you in honor of Help a Widow Day. Don't you think that a lot of married people, just it's just a part of life that we sort of take for granted what our spouse does? Because I know that any time my husband goes out of town, I'm amazed that the trash doesn't just magically ca you know, carry itself out, that that light bulb that's 20 feet up isn't going to change itself. I mean, and you really don't realize what they do until they're gone, and it's a very difficult thing to deal with. I know it, and even, and I'm glad you said uh, changing the light bulb, mm -hmm. because almost every widow just breaks down crying the first time she has to change a light bulb, mm -hmm. because it's an acute reminder that your spouse is gone. Of course, and you have those things every single day. And then, like you said, things that just don't come naturally to most women, things like painting. I mean, that's just something that, that we're, a lot of times, we're not used to doing. Absolutely, and a lot of times there are things that happen that not only do we not have the skills, we just don't have the physical mm -hmm. strength to do. So you can look at some of the older widows' houses and you see that they're run down. There's no one to help you with your honey-do list. Mm -hmm. And over time, things just to start deteriorating. What do you think is a comfortable way for someone to reach out? Because you don't want to insult somebody and, and make them feel like, oh, I don't think you can do it. But how do you reach out to somebody and say, I would really like to help you. Let me do this for you. The easiest way is to say, I saw Robin Craig on Fox mm -hmm. News this morning. She created Help a Widow Day. And I understand that you have special needs, and I would love to help you with some of those. That is a great way to do it, and it's just sort of the icebreaker as well. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about your organization and how any widow or widowers, I know that there's also some men involved on your website, you guys have a live chat and it really yes. helps a lot of people because you realize how many things you have in common and when you don't feel alone, it empowers you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I host a live weekly web show called Robin Craig Live on the Mingle Media Television Network. All you need is your computer and internet service and it's on Tuesday evenings at 9 p.m. Central mm -hmm. and the chat room is interactive. So people make friends from around the world in the chat room during that hour and it's become such a wonderful friendly thing to do I even stay online up to an hour after my show mm -hmm. and we just catch up how are things in Anaheim what's going on up in Boston it's so beautiful well we talk about b it being help a widow today perhaps we should help a widower and maybe take them a baked pie or something that they're not used to as well I'm Absolutely. sure right Absolutely. and I would encourage the widows go out and find a widower and mm -hmm. do something nice for him as well all right now it's all day today right yes and you have it on this date every year July yes. 20th Second. This is the third one. I created it in 2009. Today is the third one. Mm -hmm. And basically, it would be great if people could help widows not just today, mm -hmm. but by all means, do something nice today. Just get into the habit of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Robin, thanks for being here today. Such great information, and we really do hope that someone can help.